How you doing, George? You miss me? You miss me, George? We got the court date yet or what? We got the court date yet or what? I got my lawyers ready. I got my countersuits ready. I'm getting my witnesses ready. What date we going to court, George? That's all I want to know. So, this dude, George, nonstop coming out with FUD after FUD after FUD after FUD about other companies day in, day out. Nonstop. Non stop FUD on other companies instead of looking into his own garbage right in his closet. Right? Instead of looking into that garbage company called Forwardly that he owns, right? That just came out with another piece of Basura news, right? Bad news down 10% again. Whose fault is that today with this Basura garbage trash company and this trash news that came out today? Whose fault is that? Which YouTubers fault with this? Who you suing for that news? Huh? Who you suing for that news, George? Listen, this right here is a pure example of karma at its finest. This disgusting human calls me yesterday. Those of you that did not watch my last two videos, please watch them. Called me after I took down all the videos I did on him. All the videos I did on him, I took down. Then calls me. Cursing me out, telling me to make an apology video. I have five minutes. And then cursing out my kid, telling me he wishes he starves. He wishes my kid starves and wishes I have no money. Well, George, you piece of shit. This right here is karma working at its fucking finest. Your company is going to shit. Your life will probably go to shit. Because you're a piece of shit. I will not stop. I have no brakes on you, you piece of shit. After taking the high road, the high road, right? The high road with you, you piece of shit. And taking those videos down. You call me on my phone that you got from your lawyer, that I gave your lawyer, that you probably, oh, let me, please let me have his number. Your lawyer didn't want to call me because he knows how retarded. You sound telling me to make apology videos after I took videos down that I have no reason to do so. But just because I felt like being kind, your lawyer didn't want to call me with that bullshit. So you asked him for my number, right? And you call my phone talking about you got five minutes and you wish my kid starves. Well, bitch, here's your karma. You ready? You ready for your karma to see how it feels like to non-stop talk about other people's companies? You ready? Forwardly. Down over 10% for the day. Let's see why this garbage company that George Sharp is behind, right? That George Sharp is behind, that people hopefully more and more understanding what kind of BS person, disgusting person this bozo is. This disgusting disgusting human being is that owns trash garbage companies like this let's see what happened today george with your basura 
hope my kid starves. Do you even have kids, you bitch? Do you have anybody that cares about you? Or do you spend your whole day, your whole day worried about Brooklyn Stock Shop? Right? Worried about what's people talking on the internet about you? After you spend your whole life, your whole life trashing other companies and costing other people tons of money and trashing other people's investments. For what? To short companies? To get them at low prices? But what happened to your company? Do you care about the shareholders in your company? That's been nothing but tanking and coming out with news like this, Basura, George Sharp, CEO, forwardly, right? Providing following updates to the company shareholders, the United States Food and Drug Administration has informed Ligand Innovation that it has rejected Ligand's application for emergency use authorization of Life Air Portable Ventilator, also known as Vede Cali, whatever, Portable Ventilator as current. Well, so, listen, I don't even care what this says, George, but I'm not on here spreading FUD and misleading information on your garbage company. I'm reading it straight from your PR, right? But your PR, this doesn't sound good to me. You fucking bitch, right? My kid's still not starving today, George. He's not. He's good. He got food in his stomach. No matter how much you wish. He didn't. He's still good. He's still good, George. How's your shareholders doing? Are they starving? Are they good? Because they don't seem good. With this news, your shareholders... Don't seem good, brother. Listen, man. If you're holding forwardly, I don't care less about this company to look into it even more. But look into this bozo. When you deal with a bozo, Not even just, man, Bozo is a nice word for this dude, man. I just can't really call him on, on the into what I really want to. I don't even want to talk that crazy right now. But this dude, this dude wishes kids starve. Kids starve. This dude wishes people lose their money on their investments. By coming on the internet every day and spreading FUD on other companies instead of worrying about his own trash that he has in his freaking toilet. How about... I got an idea for you, George. I got an idea for you, man. Since it seems like a 60, 70 year old man, whatever you are, you have it in you, you have it in you to call somebody. After they took the videos down and showed you a little ounce of kindness, to wish them their kids starve, brother. I just want to know, when are we going to court? What are we doing? Because I'm not stopping. I'm not. I'm not stopping. You're a disgusting human. Your companies are trash. Your life is worthless. You, George, you are going to keep getting what's coming to you, like what's going on with your company. Karma, George, karma is coming for your old, disgusting, piece of shit face.
Salute, man. Listen. Do your own research on these companies. No matter what you invest in, whether you invest in trash like Forwardly, whether you invest in companies that we speak about here at the shop or anybody, whatever they speak about on these YouTube streets, do your own fucking homework and listen to nobody but yourself. Especially, especially. Not bozos like this. Look at him. Look at him in court. Worrying about everybody else's company. Every other company. Except the trash that he owns. That people invest in. Have a good night, man.